I pray this message blesses y'all as much as it blessed me. I heard this on TikTok, so check this out. You know the story of the blind man where Jesus makes a spittle on the ground? He spits in the mud and rubs it in his eyes, and then he says, now go wash it off. You think, you know, God in the flesh can just think it. He doesn't have to do that. He doesn't have to um, rub mud and spit in his eyes. He doesn't have to do any of that, right? So oh, this is such in the character of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Anyone who, Christian or not, you hear this message and you should share this because it's just so beautiful. Watch this. Just watch. So a lot of people have a lot of ideas on why he did that. And I heard a TikTok about this and oh, it just blessed me so much. And I'll never stop talking about this. The kid was blind his whole life and the Pharisees didn't believe him. And you knew there was something going on because they even brought the parents in and they asked the parents to say, you know, is it true? Has he been blind his whole life? And what do the parents say? They say, hey, just ask him. He's old enough. And first off, that shows this, this fear, right, of being excommunicated from the, um, this religion. So what happened, and this rings true in my soul, is that this young kid was excommunicated at a young age. And what happens back then, if that happens, it's a very shameful thing. People would be walking by, they'd spit. They spit on the floor in front of you. They would mock you and they'd spit. And that, all that kid's life just being, you know, excommunicated. All, all the Pharisees and re religious type would be walking by and they'd spit on the ground, you know. They'd spit in front of him. And it, and it must have hurt him very much. And what does Jesus do? He knows his heart. He knows. He heals his heart. He heals his heart. And then he can see. He doesn't need to rub spit and mud, spit and dirt made a uh, you know mud in his eyes he could just think it the very same thing that he was shamed for his whole life jesus christ spits on the ground and makes a spittle and rubs it in his eyes and says and now go and wash in this specific um uh, bathing area and then he rinses his eyes out and he could see. So the very same thing that all these people would be spitting and shaming him, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uses that. Share this message. Whether you're Christian or not, it is so beautiful. And this is the character of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God in the flesh. He is love. The parents say, ask him. He's old enough. I'll make another video on it tomorrow using all the verses and all the scripture and everything and, and the name of the specific pool that they went to and the meaning of the name of that pool and all the other details involved with this. But that... <laughs> Can I get an amen, y'all? Amen in the, in the comments, please, if, if this blessed you, this message from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He uses the very same thing that you, he heals his heart first. He heals his heart. And now he may see. Think esoterically. Think literally. Think with your heart. How, Jesus Christ blinded Paul. And there were scales on his eyes. He was blinded so that he may see. He uses the very thing that people use to shame the kid. To heal him. Not only his sight. His soul. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you Sabbath. I will give you rest for your souls. Place your yoke upon me. His burden is light. <laughs> I, it's so beautiful. That's just so beautiful.